Pixie here, and guess what? I'm in a different shirt. Just kidding. <laughs> but no, but really, I am in a different shirt. <laughs> Anyways, I'm very excited because today I thought I would take you guys along with me to a Toros game. How exciting is that? It's very different going to a Toros game than going to a regular MLB game. And well, as much as I would love to sit here and explain it all to you, I thought, you know what? I'm just going to show you. So here we go. So I'm going to go ahead and put my shoes on. I'm just wearing regular sweats, tank top, and a light sweater because it's still very warm here in the Dominican, even though it's January 2nd. And then my parents and I are going to take a golf cart to the lobby. And then at the lobby is where a van, a team van picks the wives and family up. And then we head to the game. So I'm going to go ahead and take you guys along. Here we go. All right, so we're at the lobby. We're waiting for Dario to come pick us up and he's here. So here we go. He's the team driver in the team van. Hola, Hola Dario. Okay, so we made it to the stadium and it's a really exciting game because it gets rivals, we say. And of course, Edgar is coming to meet us and we have another bet going. Whoever loses has to wear the opposing team's jersey. We're just waiting for Edgar to get in and this is for the round robin, so hopefully we win. And he has to wear the Toros jersey. And I don't have to wear the same one. Guys, this is the line to get into the stadium.
Okay, so I got back from the game last night. We got back around 11, 11.30, maybe even closer to midnight. And um, my phone died. So I'm filming a lot of this on my phone because my camera, it's hard for me to upload anything from my camera onto my computer. It's a whole big mess. Anyways, so we got back from the game. We took the team van back to Hotel Lobby where we waited for Hunter and then Hunter came and then we got part of home. We really didn't miss much. But now that it's the next day and Hunter has to work me out. Now that's the next day, Edgar lost the bet, so he has to wear the Toro shirt all day, which is good because I don't have to wear a Lisey shirt. Here is Edgar the next day. Diga, hola, vamos toros. Hola, vamos Lisey. Oh. Vamos Lisey, por favor. Los toros campeón. Los toros no. Sí, Lisey sí, es fuera. No, 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 todavía. Es fuera. Aún, faltan muchos juegos todavía. Adiós, Lise. Bye bye. <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed coming along to a game with me. Uh, there's so many things that I love about it. First of all, the stadium is crazy clean, which I guess is kind of surprising because I always find that like most stadiums don't feel clean, but this one, I don't know, like I felt like it was clean. The energy of the people in the stands is like out of 10 from first pitch to last pitch, it's insane how energetic everyone is. And like so many kids, like no one, I find that like everyone at this game, like no one's on their phone except me when I get on the scoreboard, which was pretty cool. But I was filming the Toro, like the actual mascot, but like even the kids, like no kids are on iPads, no kids are on phones. The kids are like literally watching every single play, like every pitch, every at bat, they're arguing with the umpires from the stands. Like, it's actually super cool. And then the kids go there also and they ask the players for balls because then they take their balls and they take it to like whatever team they're playing on or they're practicing in the street. So like the Dominican Republic is really into baseball, like on like next level into baseball. And they, like all their commercials are about baseball. Their commercials are, you know, have baseball in it and they're just so, they're so passionate about it and it's really cool to see and it's really, really cool to be a part of, especially with what's happening with the Toros right now, that, now that they made it into the round robin and we're getting to be part of it. You can feel their love for the sport and for the players and for the team especially and they're just so, like they are die hard and it's really, really cool to see. I love what the mascot does. He just cracks me up because he's actually really funny and he just does really funny things like taking a gun with like a water gun and shooting the other team's fans with water. I just think it's super cool and it's really fun. I always have a really great time at the games. All the fans have been so warm and welcoming and even though my Spanish isn't totally fluent, they still are really open to talking with me and it's really cool because they don't even know who I am and they're still just like talking to me, they're talking smack about the other team. It's just super cool and everyone, everyone is really, really like good hearted, I guess. You know, there's banter and some trash talk happening between like, you know, the Toros and whatever other team that they're with, but like. It doesn't ever go too far and I think that's super cool and you can tell that there's just like a lot of love for the sport and you know they have a band there that like plays literally at every at bat which is really cool it really brings the energy up they're always chanting the announcer goes into the stands which is really cool I don't know they're just it's a really special time right now playing with the Toros and I'm really, really enjoying it and it's really fun to watch Hunter play here and I really hope that Toros go all the way because that would be really cool to be part of. Oh, the food there is also really good, like Domino's Pizza is really good. It's personal sized, it's small, I really enjoy it. They also have fried chicken. I haven't tried that yet. My mom tried it and she said it was really good. I saw a hot dog too, but I don't get up and walk around too much because right now, I should have done that when we first got here because there wasn't as many people but I guess now that they're in the round robin, it's like packed. It is so packed, it's ridiculous. It also just feels like, like a, not a free for all, but like everyone's just friends with everyone and you can walk down and talk with people, you can move seats, you can, and like everyone's just super flexible and super open and awesome. And it's just, it's really, really great. The kids are dancing, parents are dancing, everyone is chanting. I mean, it's just a good time. And I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me. If you guys want more games, let me know in the comments below. And until next time, see you in the chat.
Bye! If you guys liked this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Also, let me know in the comments below, what was your favorite part about the game? Was it El Torito? That's the Toro. Was it the food? Was it the energy? What was it? Um, and if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please be sure to do so.